All right, this is a demonstration on destructive interference. And what you see on your screen is um, my Audacity sound recorder. And um, on the bottom, you see one track of a, a certain tone. Um, and on the top, you see another track of the exact same tone, uh, the exact same frequency, but spliced up into different parts. Now, the difference, though, if I can zoom in, I'll zoom in so you can see the waves themselves. The difference, as you can see, is that it's it's offset by half a wavelength, which which means that the 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 crest of one is going to match up with the troughs of the other. The crest of one matches up with the troughs of the other. So what you will get is a destructive interference, and the sound will eliminate e each other. And just to show you um, that it's not a trick, I'm going to mute mute this one and play play the tone. Hope that's not too loud. Okay, and then let's mute this one and see what this one will sound like. So nothing, 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 and then you hear it, and you can see that it's the exact same tone as the track below. Okay, so when we play it one at a time, we can hear the tone on each track. Now, when we play them together, um, you'll hear this tone. And when these two tones play together, it'll be a demonstration of destructive interference, and you won't hear anything because the sound will cancel itself out. Here we go. And again, it silences destructive interference. And then one more time, it will silence again. All right. <clears throat> so that's a quick demonstration. And again, to review, when we look at the, the waves themselves, you can see that um, <clears throat> the peaks of one matches with the troughs of the other. All right. The crests of one matches with the troughs of the other. So um, they will cancel themselves out, and that is destructive interference.